When the night is darkest And I feel weary I'm not alone Cause you are with me A new day is coming I see light And the sun will rise And hope is alive No matter what tomorrow brings I know that you'll be by my side All the time You'll never leave me When shadows fall I will have no fear Cause you're right here When the night is darkest And I feel weary I'm not alone Cause you are with me A new day is coming I see a light And the sun will
it's all about Even when it's hard to see You are never leaving me I'm so excited now Dreaming what it's all about no. Hello friends, my name is Liam. And I'm Allison. And I'm Emma. And we are the, the Super Crew. Crew. And this is our amazing friend, Bark. We were just playing a game of If You Can Hear Me. Do you want to play with us? Yes. yes. Great. This is how you play. Emma will say, if you can hear me, and then give us a command. Then we will listen and do what she says to do. Let's try one. If you can hear me, put your finger on your nose. Great job. If you can hear me, put your hands on your head. You are all great listeners. If you can hear me, reach out and touch your toes. Let's do one more. If you can hear me, Wave your hands up in the sky. Great job. If you can hear me, put your hands back in your lap. That was a fun game. You did a great job listening and doing what she said to do. Speaking of listening, I think I heard the super box. Did you send us something super? Yes! Here at the clubhouse, we help connect the super clue the big deal, and the Bible. Today's big deal is look and see God has a plan for me. Let's take a look together and see what's inside. Oh, cool. My coach has one of these. It's a whistle. But I wonder, how does a whistle connect to today's big deal? Can you wonder with us? I think I got it. Your coach uses a whistle to get your attention. When we hear a whistle, we listen and follow the direction of our coach or teacher. Today's big deal is look and see. God has a plan for me. God has big plans for us, and we can listen and pay attention to God and follow what he says to do in the Bible. You're right, Ellison. God does have big plans for us. Now, be looking because you're going to see the super clue again. When you see the super clue, here's what I want you to do. Since our super clue is a whistle, I want you to pretend like you have a whistle in your hand and pretend to make a sound. Can you try it with me? See the super clue and pretend to sound your whistle. Great job. Let's see what the Bible says about God's plan for us and how we can listen to him. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true and it's for you. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Judges. Can you say Judges? Judges! In today's Bible story, we will see a man named Gideon and how he had to listen to God because God had big plans for Gideon and his people. Let's check it out. Gideon. Gideon was the youngest boy in his family. He was not the biggest or the strongest or the bravest. One day when Gideon was working, the angel of the Lord came to him with a special message from God and told him that he had been chosen to rescue the Israelites, God's special people. Gideon was not sure that it was God who was asking him to rescue the Israelites. So he asked God to make a piece of wool wet one night and to keep it dry another night. God did what Gideon asked. When Gideon realized it was God speaking, he listened and did what God told him to do. Gideon obeyed and gathered an army. God told Gideon his army was too large. He told Gideon to keep only 300 men in his army. Gideon obeyed God and sent home almost 30,000 men. 
Gideon wasn't sure how they could win a battle with only 300 men. God told Gideon what to do. Gideon listened and did what God said. Gideon surrounded the enemy with torches and trumpets. And when the time was right, Gideon told the men to sound their trumpets and show their torches. The men paid attention and listened to what they were told to do. When they did, the other army became confused and began fighting each other. Gideon listened to God and God helped Gideon rescue the Israelites. That is awesome. Even though the people of Israel didn't seem to have much of a chance to win the battle, Gideon listened to God's message and followed his plan. It wasn't always easy. Even when God told Gideon to do things that didn't make sense to Gideon, he listened to God and did what he said. We can follow God's plan for us when we read the Bible and listen to what God is telling us to do. Look, do you see something? It's our super clue. Do you remember what to do? Great job. Coaches and teachers can use a whistle to get our attention. Whistles remind us to listen so we know what to do. Next time you see a whistle, remember that we can listen to God and pay attention to him because he has an amazing plan for each of us. So... Today, we have learned that we can follow God. In today's Bible story, Gideon listened and followed what God told him to do. God had a special plan for Gideon, and he listened and followed. We can listen to God and learn about him from the Bible. And God helps us follow him and do what he says. Wow, that is a big deal. Let's all say our big deal. I'll say it first, then you say it after me. Look and see. Look, Look and see. God has a plan for me. God has, has a plan, plan for me. me. Great job. When we listen to God, we can follow his amazing plan. Thanks for coming by the clubhouse today. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Bark. <laughs> bye. bye. Hey friends, let's learn a verse from the Bible that tells us that God has a big plan for us to tell others about him. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true and it's for you. Now, listen and watch it first as we learn it together. Let your light shine before others, Matthew 5, 16. I want everyone to stand up so we can say the Bible verse. I'll say it first, then you can say it after me. Let your light, let your light shine before others. Shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. Matthew 5, 16. This verse tells us that we should be like a light that helps others know more about God. When we follow God, people will see that we are acting different. We can help people know more about God when we love them or tell them about God's Son, Jesus. Let's say the verse again. Ready to say it after me? Let your light, let your light shine before others. Shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. Matthew 5, 16. Great job. This verse teaches us that God wants us to follow him. Our light means our actions or right choices, the things we do and the way we act. When we let our light, our right choices, shine for other people to see, we show love, patience, and kindness to other people. Let's say this Bible verse one more time all together, but this time while jumping up and down. Ready? One, two, three. Let your light shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. Eureka! God has a special plan for you. He wants you to know Him and follow Him. When you follow God, people will begin to look and see that you love and follow God by how you act. When they see your light shine, they may want to know more about God too. Great job. See you later.